flows from the world of the mind to the world of the beings in the in 24 hours you will miss awareness 24000 times and 24000 times you will regain and with that a new mode will start functioning so many times you will come back home now a new dimension is breaking in by and by the more you are able to stay in awareness less you will be able to go back and forth there is a world created by the mind mind is memory the ego sense identity crisis out of that we create a world and this world is the world of the mind that adi shankar vedanta and other sanatani call as the world of illusion because when awareness becomes perfect this world that you have created out of your mind out of fear out of your identity crisis out of your storehouse of the memory will simply begin to disappear and you will enter into a new world the world of the being another world becomes open to you illusion disappears illusion is there because you are asleep and you are unconscious it is just a dream all fear all anxiety anger is a dream in the night you move in a dream and when the dream is there you consider it so true have you ever thought in a dream that this is not possible the impossible happens in a dream but you do not doubt it at that time even when you wake up you are con continuously bothered by the dream and you want the interpretations of the dreams in a dream you have such faith that nobody is skeptical not even a burton russell no in a dream everybody is like a child trusting whatsoever happens and remains bothered and worried about it you see your wife coming in a dream suddenly she becomes a horse or your husband coming appearing or your spouse or friend appearing in the dream and becoming a dog or something not a single moment you say how can this be possible dream is a trust it is faith you cannot doubt in a dream once you started once you start doubting in a dream the rules of the dream are broken the rules of illusion the world created by the mind begins to break once you doubt the dream start disappearing if even once you can remember that this is a dream suddenly this will become a shock and dream will shatter and you will be fully awake you will enter into a new realm the world created by the being or awareness this world that you see around is not the real one not that it does not exist certainly it exists but you are seeing it through a screen of sleep through a shade of illusion through the shade of ego identity crisis through many other through the vision of unconsciousness sleep and unconsciousness is in between you look at it you interpret it in your own way but you are just like a drunkard i have heard that once mulla nasruddin came running he was totally drunk and the man who was operating the elevator 
was just going to close the door, but Mullah somehow pushed himself in. The elevator was overcrowded. Everyone became aware that Mullah was drunk. Even his breath smelled. He tried to pretend as he faced towards the door, but he could not see anything as his eyes too were drunk and sleepy. Somehow he was trying to stand, but he was not, it was not possible either. And then he felt very much embarrassed because everybody was looking and everybody was thinking that he was completely drunk. Mullah could feel that. Then he suddenly forgot where he was and he said, You must be wondering why I call this meeting. You must be wondering why I called for this meeting. Seeing so many people were around, he thought he had called an important meeting and that people were wondering why. By the morning he was okay. And then he laughed himself just as you are laughing. Uh, all Buddhas have laughed once they awaken. Their laughter is just like a lion's roar of Bodhi Dharma. They laugh not at you, instead they laugh at the whole cosmic joke that they have been living in. They lived in a dream, in a sleep, intoxicated completely by desires, egocentric identity, memory crisis, and through the desire they looked at the entire existence. Then it was not the real existence. They projected their own sleep an unconsciousness on it. You are taking the whole existence as a screen and then you project your mind on it and you see things that are not there and you do not see things which are there. This is how the world is created by the mind and its attributes of egocentric identity, a storehouse of the memory, and drunkenness. And the mind has explanation for all these. This you can see around on a day-to-day -day basis. When an argument erupts between spouses, between husband and wife, each has his own argument and consider the argument as total and correct. You see in the office you are talking to two people, each has a different point of view about the particular situation and both consider their approach as the correct one. Mind has explanation for everything and you are the mind. Mind creates theories, philosophies, systems just to feel comfortable and nothing is wrong in it. All philosophies exist to make life convenient so that everything looks okay and you live in that world that's created by philosophies, your religious understandings and many other things. Nothing is wrong in it. However, everything is wrong when you are asleep and when you live your life out of unconsciousness, out of your ego-centric identities and a storehouse of the memory. All of our philosophies and arguments are based on the past memories. Your spouse had asked you to get something and you did not get. 
and the argument erupts out of and the most of the content emerge out of the storehouse of the memory past memories and also many other things happen then egocentric identities come therefore understand these two worlds created by the mind that's where you are living in and from there you are moving as awareness dawns and begins to blossom you move from the world of the mind to the world of the being the world of awareness the world of truth enough for now